arrive just in time. I'm just adding the finishing touches to my latest concoction. Oh, it's a mixture of raspberry, orange and lime and it should be fantastic. Susie's sensational sipper, I'll call it. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's wrong with my drink? It's not mixing. How come some liquids don't mix, hmm? Because they don't have... They aren't the same. They might be not the same. But some liquids are thick. Some liquids do mix. I don't really know. Because the people that make them probably forget to put stuff in it. Hmm, you know, you could be right. But whatever is keeping these liquids from mixing is something pretty special. So all I've got to do is change the name to Susie's Sensational Separating Sipper and then I could market it around the world. Oh yes, all the restaurants and bars would love this drink. It's very special. It's unique. It is the drink that just does not oh, mix. Hang on, hang on, let's wind it back a bit. That's better. I like Susie's sensational separating zipper best. Hmm, time to investigate, I think. Right. I need to make another one of these drinks so I can work out what's the trick. Now the ingredients are ice, cordial, mm-mm, very nice. Some OJ, which is orange juice, and some food colouring. Okay, let's do it. Okay, do we have separated liquids? No, we've got a real mixture. Okay, let's try again. Okay, I can't look. Do we have a mixture or separated liquids? Oh, another mixture. Let's try again. Hey, we've done it. The only thing is our experiment has just begun. <laughs> Yuck! What a mess! Mind you, the liquids that went into this glass here are the same as the liquids that went into these glasses. They just went into the glasses in a different order. Like this one here. Started with food colouring, then had orange juice, cordial and ice. This one here had orange juice, followed by ice, food colouring and cordial. Whereas this one here started with ice, then had cordial, orange juice, and food colouring added. So they're the same liquids. What's up with the liquids? I know what I'll do. I'll record all the properties of the liquids on this form here. Now let's see. The first one had Park Lane, Mayfair, and two houses on Piccadilly. No, not those kinds of properties. What I'll do is I'll compare the liquids to water and then write down how they're similar or different. Hey, looky here, I've got all the data on the form. But the part that I'm most interested in is this section here, the viscosity section. Because when something is viscous, all the tiny little particles that make up the something stick together. And then that creates a lot of friction. So it means that the liquid is not very runny. It's viscous. And check this out. Berry cordial is very viscous. It's thick and sticky. Thicker and stickier than the orange juice, which has some viscosity because it's thicker and stickier than the food colouring. The food colouring is about the same as water. Hmm. I wonder if thick and sticky equals heavy. Okay, it's time for the weigh-in. Will we end up with a heavyweight champion or will they all be going for the lightweight title? 
There's only one way to find out. Let's bring them down to the scales. Starting with contender number one, Barry Cordial. Onto the scales, please. And weighing in at 510 grams. On to contender number two, it's Orange Juice. And Orange Juice weighs in at 490 grams. And our final contender, come on down, food coloring. Weighing in at 467 grams. The judges confer, and that's you and me. And they give their ruling. We have a heavyweight champion. It's Barry Cordial. We have a lightweight champion. It's food coloring. And our middle winner, sort of sitting there, stuck in the middle, going nowhere, is Orange Juice. To think about it, that's exactly what we've got with this drink here. Okay, it's time to play Who's the Thickest? You play Who's the Thickest by counting the dots. The more the dots, the thicker the liquid. And first up, it's Berry Cordial. See the dots? Well, they are the tiny particles that make up the cordial. The cordial is thick and dense, so the particles are close together. Maybe the berry cordial's the thickest. Okay, moving on to glass two. This is orange juice. See how many dots it has. And last up, it's food colouring. Check out those dots. Well, which liquid is the thickest? Or which has the most dots or particles? Yes, you're right. It's the berry cordial. Very good, berry cordial. Now check this out. The more particles in the liquid, the heavier it is, so it sinks to the bottom, just like our traffic light drink. It has the heavy cordial at the bottom. So, the reason why some liquids won't mix is because of weight and density. The heavier and denser the liquid, the more it will sink to the bottom. The lighter liquids float on top. Just like these liquids here, oil and water. Oil is lighter than water, so it floats on top, which is a good thing when it comes to oil spills. Now, just imagine that this is a section of ocean off the west coast. <gasps> oh no, an oil tanker has sprung a leak. There's oil everywhere. And just to make it more colorful, let's add some more oil. Oh no, another oil leak. Luckily, because oil sits on water, we can clean up most of this oil spill in a jiffy with some blotting paper. How's that for a creative masterpiece? If only real oil spills were this easy to clean up. Maybe you've got some questions that you'd like answered. You can write to us at Susie's World, P.O. Box, 34307 Birkenhead, Auckland. Or head to the website www.susie.co.nz. Okay, something to remember. If you're going to do your own oil paint masterpiece, you need to be careful. Oil and water don't mix, remember? So if you get it on your clothes, <gasps> you are going to be in such big trouble. Be careful, just like me, okay? See you next time. Kakite. Oh no! What I'll do is I'll compare the liquids with water and see how they're similar or different. And if I remember the rest of the words, I'll finish the link. This program was made with funding from New Zealand on air.